First, standing in the corner to my right, from Windsor, Ontario, weighing at 210 pounds, being accompanied by the infamous Jay Moore and Sherry Bond, he is the Neo Spirit Pro Wrestling Grand Champion, textbook. In the corner to my left, from Niagara Falls, Ontario, weighing at 237 pounds, he is the Neo Wrestling Federation Independent Champion and the Lord of the Bling, Tiberius King! At this point, both men will surrender their championship belts, unifying them into one. Time has come. There can only be one undisputed heavyweight champion at Neo Wrestling. Tiberius King, the recognized Neo Wrestling Federation independent champion. Tyson Dukes, the self proclaimed Neo Spirit Pro Wrestling Grand Champion. Well, both these men have now surrendered their belts and are unifying them in this match. Yeah, Tover, this is what it's all about. This is what everybody's been fighting for. This is what everybody on the show you saw tonight wants to be and this is the neo wrestling federation champion finally these two will unify both belts and we won't have to listen to jay moore or tyson dukes proclaim about how he never lost a title years ago yeah tyson's been on a sob story ever since coming back in june about how he never officially lost the belt through a series of mergers the belt was formed into another championship belt tyson dukes carried but when neo started back up in 2011 a whole new belt was put into place. The Neo Wrestling are undisputed, or not undisputed, but independent title belts. And that was the recognized belt in Neo for a good, what, year and a half? Yeah, you're right. You know, and here's the thing, you know, Tyson Dukes just decided to come back to Neo. You know, oh, he just wants to come and show up and then proclaim himself to be the champion. That's not how it works. No. You have to be here and you have to earn it. Tiberius King's been through hell and back to have that title. That's right. Yep, I mean, that ladder match last month, he, he fought hard, and he earned that win. I mean, at Art of War, he fought Danger Boy, Bret Hart's special guest enforcer. I mean, he did what he could, and it was good enough to win the belt, and he's earned that right to be called champion. Tyson Dukes, yeah, he earned that right, but that was some seven years ago. He needs to reprove himself. They say every title, you know, you have to defend it if you want to be, call yourself the champion. You can't just sit on a, on a title belt. Well, that's just it, Toe. For everyone here in Neo, you have to fight and scratch and claw to get to the top. And Tyson Dukes came back in and thought he, you know, he could just proclaim himself champion. That's not how it works. And now we're going to see these two men go toe to toe for the ultimate prize. You know, one thing that's interesting. I mean, of course, Tyson Dukes has enlisted the managerial services of Jay Moore, but he also has Sherry Bomb at ringside. I didn't see this coming, James. And I didn't either. And I'm just as puzzled as you are. When I was out there collecting the belts, I I, I couldn't understand why she was here. You know, uh, her and Danger Boy obviously are, are no longer business partners. And I, I don't understand why she's here. I don't understand why Tyson Dukes feels he needs her. You know, Tyson Dukes is trying to give himself all these advantages, having Jay Moore and, and, and Cherry Bomb. You know they're going to cause trouble for Tiberius King at ringside. And, oh, oh. Oh, it could be the J1628 here. You know, one thing about Cherry Bomb, she was the queen of Neo. With Danger Boy as the king and the champion, she was first lady. She was the, the prima donna, so to speak. Yeah, key word there, though, Topher, was. Well, that's why I'm saying she's here with Tyson Dukes now. Perhaps she's hedging her bets. 
you know, trying to claim stake at the the new King of Neo, right? Well, yeah, I think she's just trying to worm her way to the top at all times, just like Jay Moore is. But Jay Moore's aligned himself with a force here, Tyson Dukes. I mean, Tyson Dukes is a superstar around the world. You know, we haven't really seen it yet. You know, the, these men have been going back and forth with, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, chain wrestling and holds. But, you know, Tyson Dukes is a very accomplished, uh, you know, striker. And, and Tiberius King, you know, in, in his own right, you know, can swing with the best of them too. And he's probably got about a 40-pound size advantage. Yeah, King's got the size advantage. Tyson has the, the experience advantage. But Tiberius, like I said, he's the king of Neo right now. He's got the belt. He's king you-know-what. That's it. And, and, you know, Tyson may have the, you know, he has the experience edge, but at the same time, you know, uh, Tiberius King is a traveled veteran as well. You know, he's, he's traveled all over, and, you know, he, he's wrestled the best too. He's wrestled Dukes before too. Yeah, not to not to put King in a, in a newcomer light by any means. There's only a couple years separating the lengths of these two men's careers. But sometimes that can be the difference. Well, Tyson's been consistent. Tyson has not taken any time off. I mean, Tiberius took a few years off after the close of Neo. You know, his career kind of, I don't want to say dwindled, but it slowed down. It's only in the past few years that he's been making his big comeback, coming back to take that Neo gold. Tyson Dukes has been a journeyman. He's been everywhere. He was in TNA. He represented Canada in the World X Cup. He was in WWE. Yes, he was. He's been traveling the road and picking up experience and keeping on top, tip-top condition. Absolutely. But again, you know, there's there's a size difference as well. You know, Tiberius King really, you know, this man works out to to be bigger than his opponents and stronger. And you can tell by his size of his shoulders and his arms, he's just a massive man. Yeah, Tiberius is no, no kid, that's for sure. But the thing that comes with size is... Energy. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of calories to move around all that, all that weight, all that momentum, right? You got to think the longer this match goes on, the more energy Tiberius is going to burn. And I mean, Tyson, Tyson's wrestled hour-long matches before. You got to think the longer this match goes, the more it's going to favor textbook Tyson Dukes. Well, you know, there's. Uh, I don't know if you could say favor, Topher, but it's definitely. It's definitely the longer the match goes. I, I don't know. You know, I mean, Tiberius King's wrestled, you know, half-hour ladder match Look wars too. Jay and, Moore getting involved and Cherry Bomb getting involved as if one manager wasn't enough. And this is just what I was talking about, how Tiberius King now, you know, is at a slight disadvantage because Dukes brings these people to interfere on his behalf. And like we said, Tyson Dukes an accomplished uh, striker and, you know, he, he's going to work with those kicks and knees. Yeah, but this is basically a three-on-one match here. You got Tiberius King versus Tyson Dukes, Jay Moore, and Cherry Bomb. This is ridiculous. If referee Brian Renda wanted to make this a fair title match, he'd have both of them removed from ringside. Well, we can only hope that they get caught in the act, and he does do that for us. Here's Tiberius coming back with his power. Ram and Tyson's head in that turnbuckle. Tyson nowhere to go. I think he's on Dream Street right now. He just got his brains rattled. And now some more. Ten punch to the head. Yeah, Tiberius King's being relentless. He doesn't want Tyson Dukes taking that title from him, that's for sure. Yeah, Tiberius has earned the right to call himself the Neo Champion. Glad to see once and for all we're finally going to decide which two of these men deserves to call himself champion. With a nice shiny new belt. I really like that new Neo Championship belt, James. Yeah, you know, we're, we're trying to make Neo bigger and better, like we said, and, you know, things are just beginning. Tiberius Kings at Tyson Dukes wrapped up here. Almost a variation of the Dragon Sleeper. It doesn't look like he quite has all of it. Tyson Dukes slowly fighting out of it. Slips out into a leg bar. Oh! Knees to the leg. I think Tyson might have just picked his target here. Yeah, Tyson Dukes has a viciousness to him. And a lot of guys who have those big upper bodies sometimes forget to keep their legs in good condition too. 
So you can see Tyson Dukes going after the legs of Tiberius. But I, for one, know that Tiberius King trains his legs like a madman. Have you ever seen that dude's quads? Yeah, you know, Tiberius King, like we said, he's a, he's a very, very large man. But, you know, just muscle after muscle after muscle. You know, strength advantage against almost anyone in Neo. But here Tyson Dukes is showing, too, that, you know, he, he's not, you know, he's not to, know, to uh, ignore either. He's a strong man, too. Oh, yeah, Tyson Dukes is like a cyborg in the ring. I mean, he's half man, half machine. And King goes for a suplex. Dukes slips it. Half Nelson there from Tyson. King spins around, feeds right into a suplex. Tyson couldn't get him up. Goes for a clothesline, waist lock, a reversal. O'Connor roll, gets it. One, two, oh. King to his feet. Half Nelson again. What is Tyson going here for? He keeps going for a suplex, but King won't have it. This is very back and forth here. What exciting wrestling contest this is oh. for the undisputed Neo Heavyweight Championship. Oh, and there's that. Oh, forearm to the back of the head. That'll rattle anybody's brains. I think he's got King where he wants him now. Oh, reverse. Oh, suplex right into the ropes. Ouch. Yeah, the whiplash on Tiberius King's neck and head there. Talk about using the ring as a weapon here. Dumping him right into the ropes. Seems like Tyson Dukes is working that shoulder and head area to set him up for that J1628 finisher he has. Yes, well, one thing about Tiberius King, he does have a, uh, I don't want to say a bad shoulder, but it's a little weaker than his other one. He's had a history of shoulder injuries in the past, and I think Tyson knows this. Yeah, you're right, Topher. One thing about Tyson is he's always paying attention. He's always looking for the little things in his competitors. Every advantage he can get, he'll take. If he sees his competitor limp to the ring, or even for a second, hold an injury, he's going to scope right in on it and just attack. And he's in attack mode right now. He's got King on the floor. Of course, he's not going to be able to win the match out there. Tiberius King's trying to make his way back in the ring. You know, one thing we can hope for is that this match doesn't end on disqualification or countout. I mean, this is supposed to be for an undisputed title win. It'd be a shame if it was a, a dusty finish or... You know, it wasn't it wasn't a clear cut winner. Yeah, and Topher, look at the aggression in Tyson Dukes. He wants to prove everyone wrong. He wants that title. He wants to tell everyone that he should have been given it to begin with. Oh, he wasn't here. Where were you, Tyson? In February 2011, when Neo came back, where were you? And the crowd getting behind Tiberius King and taunting Cherry Bomb, trying to get her to leave the ringside. Cherry Bomb doesn't want to hear it, but I don't think she's going to listen to what they say. No, unfortunately she won't. You're right, Topher. King now, a series of jabs, right hands connecting. Oh, but Duke's going right to the core, yeah. right to the midsection. Tyson right back with those knees again. Those knees and kicks he has are just lethal weapons. I don't know if Tyson's necessarily picking a body part, but he's just working over all of Tiberius King. See now he's going to work in the head. A couple stomps there. You know, Tyson Dukes is so methodical in his approach too, you know. There's no wasted wasted energy. There's no taunting to the crowd like you know some of the other guys we've talked about tonight. Yep. He's just in there and he's focused. He wants one thing, and that's to beat his opponent and to take the championship. He wants to be the champion. Yeah, definitely a no nonsense competitor is Tyson Dukes. Oh, and a Russian leg sweep, taking down the champion. Oh, both these men are champions. Look at that torque on the right shoulder there, Tiberius King. Yeah, this is a unique uh, hold. I don't even know what you would call it, Topher. Some type of credenza hold there. King's all wrapped up like a like an old phone line, a old phone cord. Yeah, that torque on the shoulder. That's that's not the way the shoulder is supposed to bend. Oh, into a pin here. Gets out of that tangled mess he was in. And runs right into another vicious chop and knee combo by Tyson Dukes. Oh, game with the uppercut. And a knife edge chop. Knee lift. 
Tiberius King showing his striking ability as well. Oh, that knee, it's vulnerable. You saw it right there. He tried to press off it, but he couldn't do it. And now Tyson going right back to that leg. Yeah, Tiberius King is hurt here, Topher. Yeah, this does not favor the independent champion whatsoever. Just yanking at it. Nothing fancy there. Oh. Just good old-fashioned leg pulls. Oh, and a kick for good measure there. The crowd's really getting on <clears throat> Cherry Bomb's nerves again. Well, personally, I'd rather have Courtney Rush out there than Cherry Bomb. We all would, Topher. We all would. <laughs> Jay Moore is sticking up for his, his lady. Maybe that's why she's out here. Maybe she's looking for Jay Moore's services. You know, it's a possibility. What a great way to butter him up than to come out here and Held him at ringside for one of the biggest main events Neo's ever seen here. Tyson Dukes has that leg scissors, the body scissors applied to Tiberius King. Unless he's trying to add into a sleeper. He's just wearing King down little by little. I don't know how much longer Tiberius King can go. He's been taking a beating this match. Yeah, this match around the 15 minute mark here. Tiberius, wow! Great counter by King. I think he had to dig into the reserve tank for that one to get up after that sleeper hold. But Tyson Dukes right back on the offensive. Yeah, like I said, I think King gave it all he had to get that hold on in the first, or to get out of that hold in the first place. And a modified abdominal stretch here. Again, torque on the shoulder of Tiberius King. Oh yeah, so much extra torque. He's got his body wrapped right up in him. You gotta remember too, you know, w without his shoulder, you take away his power oh. game. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Speaking of power, that DDT drilled Tyson Dukes' skull into the mat. Yeah, he just spiked the cyborg right on his head. Definitely a desperation move there from Tiberius. But it worked. He's bought himself some time. Referee Brian Renda administering his 10 count. King gets to his feet. After all he's been through, King is the first to his feet. It's amazing right now what this man is able to do. Oh, and looky here. King going up to the top rope. We've seen him fly before. It's a big man to fly. Hopefully he doesn't land on that knee. And he takes it. Oh, nobody home. Big cross body. And now we're going to see Dukes go to the ropes. This is something we don't see so often out of Tyson. Oh, King. Tyson right back on the offensive again. Oh, King's trying to stop him, doing everything he can. He's meeting him up on the ropes there. Oh, could we see a huge superplex here? King's perched on the top rope. Tyson's oh there Oh my too. god. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, what a superplex there. Topher, I can't believe the ring didn't collapse there. That's That was huge. Did you see the height he had on him? Yeah, those feet were almost kicking the ceiling here. Both men once again down on the mat. Tiberius King needs to try and make a cover here. Yeah, I think Tiberius King has this if he can get his arm over. Now Dukes looks like he's starting to stir. Well, the referee's had a five count. A six count now. Neither man has gotten even to a knee yet. It'd be a shame for this end on a double count out for that belt right there. The Neo Wrestling Undisputed Heavyweight Championship. Oh, Both men in their feet at the same time. Right in the nick of time, that was. Now they're trading blows. And the crowd's letting us know exactly who they're rooting for, Topher. Yep, they're cheering for Tiberius King and booing for Tyson Dukes. I definitely want to see Tiberius King keep his belts. Oh, these forearms. Yeah, this is just broken out into a fight right here. These men are just giving it all they got. They don't care about consequences or how they're going to feel tomorrow. It's a good thing King ducked that big boot and hit an atomic drop. 
Sends Tyson to the corner. Big avalanche splash and a bulldog. King doing the right things here. Big back elbow. Keeping on his opponent. Not giving Tyson a minute to collect himself. And now King charging him in the corner. Oh, Tyson up and over. Connects with the forearm. What are we going to see King do here? Springboard! Clothesline! Tiberius King with a springboard clothesline. Yeah, that took Tyson Dukes down hard. He may be out cold. For a man Tiberius' size to springboard to the top rope and then fly halfway across the ring. I mean, that's just that's the sign of a champion right there. Yeah, it's another one of his trademark moves. He loves unleashing. Oh, and now a T-bone suplex overhead. Goes for a cover. And the resolve of Tyson Dukes is amazing, too. These two men have been through a war. You know, I said earlier about the match going on longer and favoring Tyson Dukes. King must be seriously training his cardio. His stamina is second to none right now. Yeah, both men have, must feel like they've been through one hell of a fight so far. And the crowd is excited as we are to find out who's going to be the new undisputed Neo Wrestling Champion. King calling for the end here. He could be going for that. He went for the Royals flush, but Dukes had it scouted. Oh, Dukes. Oh, both these men. You can see the, the fatigue on both these men. King getting a boot up just high enough to matter. And a power bomb. Dukes lands on his feet. King blocks it. Goes King goes for it, for it again. again. Oh! <laughs> Huge power bomb, two and... How did Dukes kick out of that? I don't believe it. This match continues here after a devastating power bomb. He power bombed Dukes into an accordion. That was ridiculous. I have no idea how Dukes kicked out of that. Well, it just shows Tyson Dukes. I mean, he thinks he's the champion, so he's going to fight like one, right? I mean, the Grand Championship, definitely a respected belt in the old Neo Spirit days. Definitely still does have some prestige. Of but, course, not a recognized belt. But this is 2012, and, you know, to quote, there can be only one, Topher. That's correct. King looked like he was going for a second power bomb. And Dukes looks so just exhausted now, both of them. King's going for it again. If he kicked out of one, he's not going to kick out of two. Dukes keeps fighting out. Oh, backside suplex. Oh. I don't think King knows where he is. No, King landed right on his head on that one. He could have a concussion here. Needs a rope to get up. Well, fortunately for King, Tyson Dukes still needed a minute, so he's recovering in the corner, but he's keeping his eye on King. You know he's going to capitalize before King will turn around and come to his senses. Oh, big lariat clothesline. Could this be it? Wow. Oh, oh he's going in the J1628. Uh-oh. Nice transition there. Right after he kicks out of the pin, he puts him right in it. That patented submission hold, 1628. It's a Bible verse for those wondering at home. Yeah, Judges 1628, Tyson Dukes was telling me. It's all about war and revenge. That's what he's getting right now against Tiberius King. Well, maybe that's the problem. Tyson Dukes is mad that in February 2011, he didn't get the phone call to come and uh, still reign as Neo Champion. Well, you know, you still have to let things go. It's time, you know, we've moved on to Neo Wrestling Federation. There's a new title. Focus on that. If he wins, then he's happy and we don't have to listen to it anymore. And Cherry Bomb screws up there. She, I look like she was going for Tiberius's foot. Oh, Street Sweeper. Oh, this could be it. The Royal Flush, Tiberius, two. Oh, Tyson kicked out. Yes, he did. What? We have a bell. Did Cherry Bomb just cost Tyson the championship? It looks like it. Listen, I, I don't like him as much as the next guy, but I could have sworn Dyson Dukes kicked out there. I and saw referee Renda's waving it off. I Timekeeper got too excited. Ball, 
Good call, Topher. Good call. Well, the referee made the call. I mean, he stuck to it. Even though we heard a battle and we heard music. Referee Brian Render making sure to enforce it. This match is not over. Tyson Dukes kicked out in time. Uh, Tyson looked shocked. He knew he kicked out. And I think that music made him wonder, like, what's going on here? Talk about throwing off your game here. You think you're on top. You think you got it. And all oh! A brain buster out of nowhere. Maybe it's not. That's over. Tyson just picked up a man the size of Tiberius King and dropped him on his head with ease. I thought that that, uh, that false finish would have confused Tyson. He might have had his game thrown off, but he looks right on it. That, that may have woken him up. Within a couple seconds, yeah, seeing how easy it could end. Tyson locks in J1628. And Tiber comes... Tiberius King was tapping. I saw that. He tapped. Referee Renda missed it. Wow. You want to talk about your controversial finishes here. Topher, I'm all for fair play, but I, I think, you know, Tyson Dukes is a legitimate complaint. I think I think Tiberius King actually tapped before his foot got to the rope. I saw it too, James. I'm not going to lie. The camera caught it, but the referee didn't. And, I mean, they say there's no replays in inst uh, no instant replays in wrestling. The match continues. Tyson's frustrated, though. You can tell. He's wow, absolutely. He he knows. He knows Tiberius King tapped. Yeah, he's unloading here, but he's going to watch his stamina. I mean, this match is over 20 minutes now. Tiberius King's down again. you got to wonder, like, uh, you know, after that brain buster, what's he got left? But he's, he's trying to get the crowd behind him again. Yeah, the crowd is solidly behind King. They want to see him keep his belt. As Dukes just fires away, unloading on Tiberius. Tiberius is still trying to get to his feet. There's no quitting either, man. I don't think Tiberius has much left, though. I think he gave it the all on that last royal flush. You know that relief that comes with hearing the bell and hearing your music? It already set in. Those, those hormones, those endorphins of the body, you know? He might be already Whoa. calming down, but maybe not. Quick roll up. Two. Wow. How did Tiberius King pull that out? Out of nowhere. I think it was oh. all he had left. Wow. King gave the last of what he had in the tank, and it was enough to get the quick win over Tyson. And he doesn't get a chance to celebrate. Tyson's back on top of him. Tyson's frustrated. I Tyson think, believes he was screwed. I think Tyson really wanted the undisputed belt there. You know, he thought he had King, but at the same time, King thought he had Tyson. And like I said, Topher, I don't like Tyson better than anyone else does, but I'll tell you right now, he has a legitimate complaint about that. Well, maybe he can take it up with management. I heard they saw it. Oh, I'm sure Jay Moore will be calling me right after the show. Jay and Tyson, just they look so angry, they don't know what to do. 